Another round of talks between the farmers and the centre over the controversial farm laws failed on Friday, with the farmer union sticking to their demands of complete repeal and the government urging them to reconsider its proposal of temporary suspension. The centre proposed to stay the implementation of the laws for 12 to 18 months, but it was rejected by the farmer unions on Thursday. The date for the next meeting has not been fixed. Representatives from farmer unions who met the three union ministers said that the centre was willing to hold next round of talks only once farmers agree to accept the proposal. Union Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar blamed the farmer union leaders for the failure of talks at the end of the 11th round of discussions on Friday. He alleged that the representatives do not have the welfare of farmers in their hearts. Kisan ke hag mein varta ka marg prasas ho is bhav ka sarvada abhav tha. Is liye varta nirnay tak nahi pahunch saki. Is ka nishad rup se mujhe bhi khed hai. Following the rejection of its proposal to temporarily stay the farm laws for 12 to 18 months by the farmer unions, the centre has hardened its stand and said that if the farmers are willing to accept the proposal, then they can convey the same to the centre by Saturday. I have been talking to you in the past 11th year and I have been told that the situation is complete today. If they will be able to get the after Thursday's fire at the Serum Institute facility in Pune, CEO Adar Poonawala assured that the production of the COVID-19 vaccine will not get affected. The fire did cause a damage of nearly 1,000 crore rupees to the pharma giant, destroying few floors of an under-construction building. An inquiry is being conducted to determine what caused the fire, said Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre while addressing a press conference with SII CEO Adar Punawala. While five workers died in the blaze, it took hours for the firefighters to douse the inferno. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday addressed vaccine beneficiaries in Varanasi through video conferencing. The Prime Minister congratulated the Yogi government for successful vaccination drive in the state. He credited Swajh Bharat Mission for assuring cleanliness and aiding the fight against the virus. Modi went on to say that India is absolutely self-reliant in this regard and gave all credit to scientists for making the COVID-19 vaccines available in the country. ऐसा माहौल है, ऐसी इच्छा शक्ति है कि देश खुद अपनी वैक्सीन बना रहा है। वो भी एक नहीं, दो-दो मेड इन इंडिया वैक्सीन। आज देश की तैयारी ऐसी है कि देश के कोने-कोने तक वैक्सीन तेजी से पहुंच रही है। और आज दुनिया की इस सबसे बड़ी जरूरत को लेकर भारत पूरी तरह से आत्मनिर्भर है। A new Congress president will be elected after the assembly elections in the states due in April-May this year. It was decided at the Congress Working Committee meeting on Friday. Senior leaders like Gulam Nabi Azad, Anand Sharma and P. Chidambaram reportedly asked for immediate organizational polls, stating that the party needs to complete its internal polls by February as this will give enough time for the new team to prepare for the assembly elections. While some other leaders like Ashok Gehlot, Amrinder Singh, said Congress's presidential election should be held after the polls. Finally, the second group prevailed. The next party president will be chosen at a time the leadership of the Gandhis has come under scrutiny from within. The woman who had accused Maharashtra cabinet minister Dhananjay Munde of rape has withdrawn her complaint. According to the Indian Express, the woman in a written statement said she was withdrawing the complaint as it was being used for political reasons. The complainant had filed a case against Munde earlier this month, alleging rape and sexual assault on the pretext of marriage. The NCP leader had denied the charges and said that the complainant was the sister of the woman he is in a relationship with. However, soon after the complaint, BJP leader Krishna Hegde and an MNS leader had informed the police that the same woman had been stalking and harassing them. 
former Chief Justice of India Ranjan Gogoi has been given Z plus security with armed CRPF commandos guarding him during his travels as well as for his residence. Gogoi, who retired in 2019 as the Chief Justice of India, was nominated as a member of the Rajya Sabha and had the protection of the Delhi Police. Officials said an armed mobile team of 8 to 12 CRPF commandos will be escorting him from now on. Director David Dhawan's son and Bollywood star Varun Dhawan will finally marry fiance Natasha Dalal on January 24th in Ali Bagh's five-star hotel The Mansion House. Earlier in the day the bride and groom were snapped leaving for Ali Bagh with their respective families. The childhood sweethearts were reportedly meant to marry last year but were forced to postpone their wedding because of the COVID-19 pandemic and lockdown. The Dhawans have blocked an entire resort facing the beach in Ali Bagh and are planning a grand yet simple and sober wedding. Bollywood Hangama quoted a source as saying, "The wedding functions will extend for 3 days." with the entire guest list of the family following the bio bubble protocol 